And out here on Key West, randomly, we've come across a street which has a Scotland flag up there. It's got the USA flag there, it's got a Conk Republic flag there, and then a Scotland flag. This is something of a Scottish embassy out here in Key West. All right, something I've learned in America from you guys in America is ice is an essential thing here all the time. So I'm constantly filling these bottles up with fresh ice and it's the best thing ever. I can't believe I haven't discovered this before. Now I understand why there's like ice stations at every single gas station here. Happy ice. <laughs> Hello and good morning to another hot and steamy morning in the in Florida. Today is our first full day in the Keys. We have just got up quite late to be honest. We had a good good sleep. We've been staying at the West Winds Inn, which is right behind here. Which is right here behind us. It is honestly fantastic. Um, I'm going to go into the pool here later because it is honestly it is incredible. Um, but right now. We're just along the street to get some breakfast. So we're hungry, and then we're gonna go exploring in Key West. Yesterday, I feel, was a very short introduction to Key West. We were only here for a couple of hours, really, um, and we need to see it properly. So today's the day. So one thing I can say about the Keys and Key West is that the temperature is not really as hot as we've been elsewhere, but the humidity is a damn sight higher. So last night, we Regals really, really struggled walking around here. And started feeling quite sick with the heat but um, it wasn't much hotter than other places like it wasn't as hot as like Charleston and these places it's just the humidity is so high and when the wind stops blowing at night time it's not blowing now either it's not blowing now either yeah it becomes like a sauna but um, anyway we're doing good this morning we had a good rest I think that's what we needed uh, we're gonna go out and we're gonna go out and see some of the tourist spots you need to check off your list if you come here. Sat here down by the harbour, there are some boats here. There's a marlin fishing boat in front of us. It looks sensational. We just stopped at the little bakery around from our hotel. Really nice pastry, that's good. Mmm. Mm. Where's the first place we're going? In the most southerly point. Yeah. I looked on Wikipedia though and apparently Hawaii is further south than this. Well you had to fly to get there. Mm-mm. This is the mainland. Can you visit this one? Mm. You probably saw lots of sign for Route 1. That road trip starts in the northeast in Boston. Past Boston. It goes all the way down to Key West and that's the final one, the start point. Mm. It's the longest north to south or south to north drive, I think. Is that right? You guys can tell me. And we haven't done all of that route. We started in Nashville, which is in the middle of the country, then came to Charleston, that's when we hit the coast. So from Charleston down, that was the route we did. Um, and we also did a bit of the West Coast one as well, where we started in Seattle and then drove south to Los Angeles. Not didn't have that whole route either. We've done bits of all the different routes. We've not done the Route 66 and I want to do that as well one day. Mmm, iced coffee. One of the things a lot of people have said we need to do is go and visit the Hemingway house. Now, I would love to do that, but I'm not 100% sure we're going to have the time to do it. Now, I know Hemingway was a really big deal for literary and writing around the world. And, but I either have the choice of spending our time here, going to like the ocean and seeing the water, which is what we love to do, because we've only got a day here. Now, Hemingway, he only stayed here for nine years of his life. And then there's other celebrities who came here to live as well, like Jimmy Buffett, the singer who's so popular over here and many people love. And he's got his Margaritaville bar here as well. He lived here for a time. And then obviously right now, Scottish legend, the biggest Scottish legend that ever existed, I think, in my opinion, one of the biggest 
heroes of like comedy and the arts, Billy Connolly, who currently lives here. Love that man so much, but um, he's uh, he's lived here for about three or four years now. And you can just, you know what? I'm just thinking to myself, I can see why. That's a big plane that's taken off here. And I'm surprised to see like a proper plane here taken off from the airport, which means you can you don't even need to drive down here. You can fly directly here if you want. So anyway, yeah. Like I said, Billy Connolly, one of the biggest legends of the Scottish art scene. Um, I, I see him as an idol, personally. He lives here and he has done for a few years now. And you know what, coming around here, I can just totally see the appeal. This place is like a paradise. I wonder if I can live here too, and end up like one of the vagabonds of the arts. Like, um, like Kevin Way or like Billy Connolly himself. Oh, look at the conch shells. Wow. I think these would make a really good addition to our whiskey cabinet at home. Meanwhile, check this old car out. It's all covered in stickers now. Wonder if I can convince Tech about that. What do you think? Look. No. Would that make a good addition to our coffee cab our, our whiskey cabinet? No, it doesn't even fit. No? I think they're cool. Conk. That's a conk. Can we eat one of them? I want to eat one. Here's some different sized ones, smaller ones, but they're not as cool. Oh, that's a, like a leopard one. Cowry tiger, look at that. They're beautiful. Do you want to get one of them? 199 only. Yeah. That's quite a nice little, instead of a fridge magnet, or as well as no, a fridge magnet. <laughs> well, I managed to get away with buying the leopard print shell. That is beautiful. Not necessarily the big massive conch ones though. I still think that would look nice. Kind of liking this place. What do you think? It's nice, very hot. Very, very hot. Looks like a rainstorm's coming though. Oh my God. Of course it is. <laughs> and out here on Key West, randomly we've come across a street which has a Scotland flag up there. It's got the USA flag there, it's got a Conch Republic flag there, and then a Scotland flag. This is something of a Scottish embassy out here in Key West. Love that. I don't know who owns this house, who it is, but whoever you are, get in touch and let me know what the story is. Or if anybody watching knows what the story is, let me know. A little mini Scottish embassy out here in Key West. Truth be told though, there are Scots everywhere, like all around the world. Wherever you go, you're going to find a Scottish person. At least one. And I think I've found, well, there's at least two then that lives here in Key West that I know of. Now, with Sir Billy. type of tree this is but it's amazing so tropical and therefore exotic I'm just noticing now I put so much sun cream on my face because I didn't want to burn and I look like a ghost what do I think call me a ghost something I also said about um, Charleston and Savannah the beautiful beautiful places beautiful cities is the architecture and the houses we used to just walk around the neighborhoods and take photos here it's not much different. The houses here are spectacular, some of them, like that one there, wow. And the one over there is a guest house. Can't really imagine, but it looks, it looks fantastic. Wow. This magnificent tree behind us is just fully taken over half the sidewalk and that fence and everything. We're amazing. Anyway, we are in the Truman Annex here. There's something called the Little White House, is where, is where Harry Truman, the president, I think in the 50s, 60s, 
he decided or his doctor ordered him to come and have summer vacations to de-stress I know guys the white on my face looks ridiculous but you know I want to protect myself um, he was ordered by his doctor to come and find somewhere to de-stress and he chose this little place which he called Little White House out here in Key West and it basically operated as a White House White House staff were flown in from Washington and he was here for a lot of the US winters when it was warm down here he did a lot of business here he was here during the one of the presidents were here during the, the missile crisis with Cuba a British Prime Minister even came out and, and spent time here as well and there was some kind of deal made here something about choosing a defence cabinet as well and it was called like the Key West Accord or something like that, a Key West Agreement anyway, that's really, really fascinating and it's right in front of us I thought we'd come and take a quick photo of it uh, it's a museum now, you can go and visit it but um, like I said, we have to be economical with our time but let's just have a look And according to the sign here, it was still being used for official, in an official capacity until 2001, there was a, a meeting of leaders here hosted by Secretary of State Colin Powell right here in 2001 that's pretty cool you know what, if I was a US President I think I'd make this the permanent White House because why wouldn't you want to live in the tropics? Meanwhile, over that side of the road is the very first office of Pan Am which apparently his first flight was from here in Key West over to Havana in Cuba Pan Am obviously doesn't exist anymore but it did turn into one of the biggest airline companies in the world at the time and then was involved in that um, bombing over Scotland at Lockerbie um, and then you know soon after it died out and was bought over I think and is no longer exists as a brand but that's quite a cool bit of history especially if you're an aviation nerd like I am yeah iconic scene of Key West there is like a chicken thing here and then there's two actual chickens that's cool Okay. There's a plaque up there on the road Somewhere, there, there, there There Signifies that this is mile zero, this is where the route one starts and Oh it ends here, yeah look Right here, behind us This is where route one begins and ends From Key West all the way up to the northeast of the United States So somewhere up New England I think or Maine anyway on the coast up past Boston that'll be the end of the route it goes all the way up the coast we've done some of it which is pretty great look at that tree the scent of those chickens and that tree over there look at that kapok tree just for reference you can see the size of this tree wow All the tropical trees like to grow here. Take a look at this, guys. That is a beautiful animal. What is that, iguana? It looks like an iguana. He is beautiful, though. Stay there, buddy. Oh, another one just went up the tree. Huge one. There's a face off on this tree between this iguana here and then the pigeon up there that won't let it pass. Iguana, meet pigeon. Pigeon is not moving off his tree, off his perch. The iguana wants up the tree. I am having such a fantastic time walking around this city. Like just the fact that, you know, the houses are so beautiful, the weather is great, although a little bit too sticky. All the chickens and cockerels and then iguana. It's like an iguana in the city. I've never seen that before. Very cool. Teca, the Brazilian, the tropical person in the, our little, the tropical person in our relationship is suffering. I never had so much sweat on my face. Never? Never. Not even in? Not even anywhere. Not even in tropical Brazil. 
And me from Scotland, I'm loving life right now. Now there is a house for you, look at all that. I don't know what's going on here, but it says that is Hemingway's cottage. I don't think that's anything to do with Hemingway, actually, but it might be, I don't know. But the house next door, yeah, they've went all out. All out tropical. That's pretty cool. And there it is, Hemingway's home. Oh. We made it after quite a long walk in the sun to the southernmost point here in front of us on the wa on the waterfront. That's kind of cool. That's crazy. That is a cute to take photos. All right, behind me there is the southernmost point, but I'm not joining the queue. Take a photo of it. It was all the way down the street. It's too hot for that. <laughs> 